Hello everyone, welcome to part 10 of your Game Maker Beginner to Pro tutorial. In this video we're going to be talking about tile sets. In the last video we made our players and enemies look a lot better. We downloaded that tile set. The link for that is in the description of this video as well as the last one. And what I want you to do, if you're following along, is make a new sprite and name it SPR under slash tile set. And I want you to click import <clears throat> and I want you to import sprite sheet and then uh, sprite sheet under slash tiles. And so you're going to get this right here. Uh, I don't think it matters uh, that it's middle center. That, that position stuff shouldn't matter with a tile set. But you're going to import it as a sprite first. Next thing you're going to make an actual tile set asset. So under sprites, you see a tile set folder, right click that, click create, and click tile set. And you're going to name this TS under slash, I'm just going to name it tile set. Now you might have multiple tile sets. TS under slash floor or walls. Uh, depends on how big your project is. Sometimes you can fit everything in one set. Uh, regardless, click where it says no sprite and then click sprites and choose SPR under slash tile set. And that's going to import this big sprite into this window here. I'm using the middle mouse button to move around. Um, now, th these dimensions are wrong. By default, it's 16 by 16. Uh, each one of these squares in the tile set, not the white ones, like the gr these four green ones and then the brown ones, those are 64 by 64 pixels. So you need to, if you're going to have a tile set, everything has to be very consistent. If you're making your own, obviously, uh, go get some tutorials on that. But everything needs to be consistent and pixel perfect. So we're going to write 64 by 64 in place of that 16 by 16. Uh, and each one of these white squares are going to be a tile. It's going to be one of your floors or walls or what have you. Now notice these uh, white squares are not perfectly over these green boxes and all the other boxes. It, everything is off-centered. And that's because if you notice when we scroll in, there's this gap between the tiles. Okay, That's a 10 pixel gap. I counted it before I did the tutorial. So sometimes tile sets will have these gaps. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll be side by side and you won't have to worry about what we're about to do. So I've seen some have one pixel. This is 10. So what you want to go to is this uh, tile separation X and Y, and you're going to want to put 10 there, and you're going to want to put 10 there, and that is going to make it to where there's a white box around every square, every tile. Okay, so you see we have a lot in this tile set. We have floors, we have grass and dirt, we have some, I think that's roads. Uh, we have trees and boxes and beds, and there's just so much here. We even have walls and couches, and there's a lot in this tile set. So we have our asset loaded in, and what we're going to do is go, go to our level here, okay? And we're going to add a tile set layer to our room. So go ahead and create a new layer and make a tile layer, okay? So that's going to create it on top here, and you can rename this. So I'm going to rename this... Uh, ground okay because we're gonna put the grass down first and what I'm gonna do is where it says no tile set I'm gonna click that I'm gonna click tile sets and I'm gonna click TS under slash tile set okay um, so from there we uh, we got we got it going so I'm gonna click ground here I'm gonna click the layer that I made and on the right I'm gonna have my editor here okay I'm gonna have all my tiles and notice that 10 pixel gap is gone everything's just side by side and you can just click the, the tile that you want and click in the room and paint it in the game, okay? Um, you have tools up here on the top where your play button is all the way to the right. You have an eraser right here. Uh, you have a flood fill, which will just fill it with one tile of your choosing. I don't want to do that. Uh, we have a line tool, so we could just draw a straight line, which is or any kind of line, really, which is kind of nice. We have a square tool, so we do stuff like that. And uh, you can select tiles individually. There's just a lot going on here. There's even an auto tiling system that we're not going to get into. Um, anyway, we're going to go back to our pen. And then you have a brush size right here. And uh, you know, I really want to deselect that pixel, by the way. I don't know how to do that. OK. Uh, so back to our pen, we, we have our brush size here. So by default, I'm just putting in one block but I can change this and put down a lot more at the same time. So it's very useful. We'll just use the flood tool and we're just going to fill it with grass. But notice now when we run the game, our player and enemy are gone, even though they're still there. And that's because 
our tile layer ground is above our instances and our instances contain our player and enemy so we're just going to drag that below the instances but above the background because that background is that color you can see that right there so put ground sandwiched in the middle there and there we go now we have grass so just that touch alone already just look at this it improves the game so much so think about where we were two videos ago and think about where we are right now and you see we coded all that logic using you know garbage graphics because we were making the mechanics well now we can polish things and just uh, oops we, we just make things look better and of course you polish is endless you know I could make it to where there's sparks coming out of my gun when I shoot that would be a nice touch or make the screen shake there's so much you can do in the realm of polish uh, and obviously uh, you want good graphics for your game so um, you know and then from here you could just make this look like whatever you want it to look like you know we could we could add some some dirt here you know <clears throat> you know just just there's, there's a whole uh, art to even just level design that and you have a grid here which is kind of nice I think you can even turn the snap off I think there's a way to do that with tiles and just uh, take it off the grid there but uh, anyway <clears throat> there's a grid there of course uh, you can hold control in scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out uh, you also have some zoom options right here uh, and, and yeah so you can also right click to delete tiles as well so there we go um, I guess I'll add some walls too I don't really know how this tile set works I'm gonna set my brush back down to one and so you can see now here's a conflict so I want to put a wall down but uh, half of this tile is transparent so what it does is it gets rid of the grass and now we have that blue uh, uh, grayish background layer is showing right here so I can toggle that on and off because uh, because it, it's just replacing the grass so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get rid of all that and I'm, I'm just gonna make another tile layer now there are ways you can put tiles on top of tiles I, it slips in my mind on this video or I would show you if you know put it in the description or I mean in a comment but what we are gonna do is add a new tile layer and we're just this this is how I would do it anyway we're just gonna name this one walls okay and just like what we did with grounds select walls click no tile set right here click tile sets and choose the same exact tile set but so you'll just have to remember what layer you've selected so you don't put the wrong tiles on the wrong layers you will probably do that at some point <laughs> we all do but uh, you know it's it's not a big deal See, we can toggle these layers on and off because notice I just put a wall down I can uh, you know unview that it would still be in the game but it would be invisible same with the ground you know you could you can kinda blink things you can turn your instances off good stuff so um yeah uh, I'm just gonna kinda make a see and now when I right click it's not gonna delete the grass either which is nice um let's see we're just gonna make a little room here and then in a, a video coming very soon we're gonna add wall collisions because obviously that's uh that's very important now I can't promise that I'm gonna make this room look any good but okay so we have our, our we have our walls up I'm gonna go back to ground and then I'm gonna choose this wood flooring and uh, I'm just gonna actually let me choose the the box tool and we'll just do that um I don't really like that but I guess it doesn't matter does it let's try this one it, it just blends in too much okay it doesn't matter okay there we go so and, and then now I'm gonna make another layer and I'm gonna name this one uh, like scenery and you, you can come up with your own names for things and again I'm gonna assign it the tile set that we're using and in this one in scenery I'm gonna add things like the trees uh, some fauna here we're gonna add yeah just some some grass we're just, and I notice I'm just kinda like scattering this around right and but look at how much better it's making this game look you know I'm just clicking kind of at random here actually that look really good right there some broken pieces of wood kinda I mean I mean just it just already makes the game look better um, you know the, these graphics alone they just go a long way um, so you know and, and then there's things like when we get shot we can make blood <laughs> you know splatter uh, and, and stay on the ground there's just there's just so much you can do so much 
Uh, and then even even in the even in the building, we can add like the stove. Uh, look at that! Isn't this awesome? We can add a, add a chair. <laughs> uh, and I don't know. I mean, I know there's more to this tile set, but I think we'll just leave it at that. And so obviously, in a video very soon, maybe the next one, we'll add uh, collisions to everything because you don't want a bullet going through the wall, and you don't want enemies walking through a wall either. So there we go. Um, how much better does that look? Now, obviously, we're walking over everything. We'll fix that. It's, it's great to have someone outside just slamming things around, too, by the way. That's really nice. So, anyway, I don't know if you heard that or not, but there's someone outside my window. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. And uh, the other thing we'll, t we'll do, too, is we, we need to do things like he goes under the tree a little bit. Stuff like that. Um, stuff like he kind of goes over the wall. Uh, and then sometimes he's kind of hidden by the wall depending on where he's at. Okay, that's it for this video. Hey, if you're not, follow me on Twitter, x.com slash Uh I have a Patreon too. I have a Discord and all that good stuff. I'm going to get off here because there's someone that just decided to grab a hammer and start wailing on something outside. So I can't talk anymore. Love you guys. Leave a comment. If you have any questions, ask. I'll do my best to answer every comment that we get. Bye-bye. I'll see you next time.